Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Judicious Fire. I'm on the iOS server. I'm going to be taking a look at the new enchantment, Holy Conviction. I want to take a good close look at it, uh, what it does, uh, how it can benefit our heroes, and uh, provide some suggestions on which heroes uh, this enchantment would be best suited. Uh, Holy Conviction is the newest enchantment in the game. Uh, when we look at its description, it does two very different things. Sentence one, it's going to reduce the damage that your hero receives in battle. Now at level five, that'll be a 40% damage reduction. Uh, the answer to the question, hey, I've got stone skin, I've got uh, sacred light, I, I uh, have some kind of damage reducing talent or insignia. Uh, I've got a hero like a, like a Mahatma or a Rosaline who's got a natural damage reducing ability in its skill description. Should I put another damage reducing talent insignia enchantment on that hero? And the answer is yes. It doesn't stack. Stacking is adding on top of one another. What it will do is the following. If Walla Walla has a sacred light, that takes 50% uh, of the damage away. Whatever damage is remaining after that 50% will then go to the Holy Conviction. And Holy Conviction will then reduce that by an additional 40%. So if Walla gets hit for 100, Sacred Light takes 50% of that away. Walla is only getting hit for 50 total damage. Now that 50 total damage is reduced by 40% from the Holy Conviction, uh, reducing it by 20, leaving Walla being hit for only 30 out of the original 100 damage. So it is a great thing. Uh, this is a wonderful, wonderful enchantment. I think it's an enchantment that can benefit many, many heroes. Uh, that first skill descriptor, damage received, reduced by 40%, it's going to benefit basically every hero in the game as of the date of this recording. Now the second part, it will increase the hero's healing received by 100%. Walla is a healer. He'll heal your team. Holy Conviction does not make Walla a better healer. If he heals each of your team members by 100, he will still be healing every one of your team members by 100. His healing ability, no hero's healing ability, is going to be affected by Holy Conviction. The hero will receive a 100% bonus in healing. So when Walla heals himself for 100, he's now going to be, with Holy Conviction, healing himself by 200. It just doubled it. Uh, this is what narrows down the choice of which heroes to put it on. Everybody loves the damage reduction, but the healing received part makes it a little bit more restrictive. Because we are dealing with only the hero itself receiving the bonus of the 100% uh, the bonus in heal, this is best put, in my opinion, on a hero that has a healing ability. Uh, I have placed it on many heroes. I think it's so uh, it's such a great enchantment. But all of the heroes that I have placed this enchantment upon are heroes that heal. Either they only heal themselves, and now with this, they're going to get a damage reduction as well as double their ability to uh, heal themselves. Or it's a healer in general that can heal your whole team. But when it's healing your whole team, the healer himself is going to also be getting a double heal, uh, twice as much. Uh, because of this, I, and I'm going to go through my, my altar and show you a couple of, uh, I, I, I probably put it on 15 heroes. Uh, the heroes that heal, let's go to equipment. Uh, Paladin, because he just stands there, I want him doing damage. Spirit Mage, at skill 11 and 12, heals himself only. No member of the team. But with Holy Conviction, Spirit Mage is very quick to die. He was like the second guy I put it on. Uh, with the Holy Conviction, takes less damage. He heals himself for twice as much now. 
Went ninja fast hitting. Succubus will want her fast hitting. She got no uh, uh, limitation on her uh, energy. Just keeps procking and procking just like uh, Pumpkin Duke. Same with Champ. Druid heals. Heals the whole team. But now Druid will be healing himself for 200% of what he is normally doing. Also, he's an older hero, and that uh, damage reduction helps to keep him alive. Thunder God, I want him hitting quickly. Uh, Grizz. Grizz heals himself. Perfect on a self-healer. Now he gets a uh, double heal. Uh, twice as much. Glanacore, and nothing else to do to, with him other than cause the enemy more damage. Uh, some good hits on Snowy. Some good damage on Immo. Uh, Death Knight, same stuff. Orcsbane. Orcsbane heals the team. Now he's going to get a big boost when he heals himself. He also has a lot of health, so it helps to fill up his full uh, health pool. Uh, Pixie, uh, she's going to do a heal. She's going to get a big bonus. Also, the damage reduction helps to keep her alive. She's an older hero. Uh, Archdemon, Pyramage. Uh, faster Destroyer means a faster uh, life drain. Uh, lowering the attack of the enemy. A little bit of extra damage, but more so the Reflect. Another Archdemon. Damage. Dracax reduces healing. Now with Malaise, he does that even better. Ghoulam heals the whole team. He'll heal himself by an extra 100%. Uh, nothing to do with Cupid other than uh, give him a little bit of reflect. Can't help his skill in any way. Multanica at skill 11 and 12 heals himself. He now gets a damage reduction and heals at uh, 200% his normal rate. Uh, Moltanic as a as one of the oldest here, the first dragon, uh, is an old old hero. You know, end of year one maybe, beginning of year two. Uh, the holy conviction made a game changing difference with Moltanica. I like to use Moltanica just for fun and like dungeons and stuff. Uh, now Moltanica's staying alive. He's tanking on people. He, he's right up in the enemy's face and he's not dying. Uh, damage with Minnow. Damage with Dread Drake. Archdemon, a damage dealing Ares because there's nothing else to do with Ares. He turns to dust the moment he comes out on the board. Vlad, Vlad heals himself. Now he gets a damage decrease and a big boost in his healing capability. Anybody who attacks Demo is going to get fried. Uh, Archdemon, Skull Knight, and I just say this: uh, it, this isn't about enchantments in general. Uh, any hero that has a damage cap. A Dove Keeper, Levanica, Skull Knight, uh, Mactessa. Uh, any, he any hero that has a damage reduction, uh, like a Rosa or uh, uh, a Mahatma, naturally in skill. And any hero that's got something like a, a damage reducing talent or insignia, like a Sacred Light or a Stone Skin, I would stay away from Victory Lunch. The attack bonus is nice, and your hero will get that, but your hero won't be reflecting any real substantial damage against the enemy. Uh, you look at somebody like a Dovekeeper with an 18,000 damage cap, she's going to be reflecting 15% of that. It's negligible. It's, it's, it, the heroes in today's game are not affected by that in any way. So stay away from Victory Lunges and damage, uh, on damage cap heroes. That's why I have energy set. Uh, more damage from Little Nick. Uh, I like using Artica with as a debuffer. Um, more uh, reflect for Val. Uh, I use her in boss battles. More boom from the boom. I use him in boss battles, so Pyre Mage helps get the scores up. Uh, faster. I want a faster Mectessa. I'm not trying to reflect damage. She only takes a certain amount of damage. It might be eight thousand. I'm not incorrect. Heartbreaker self heals. Uh, she will heal herself now uh, at a far better rate. Uh, Ronan, he's in shadow form most of the time. So if he's reflecting with Victory Lunge, he's not reflecting anything. He's not getting hit. So with uh, Energy Sap, he's always working. Revenant, mostly for the Reflect. I uh, use her in boss battles, uh, Archdemon, anything with damage cap modes, Pyromage, huge help. Uh, Grimfiend heals himself. Perfect candidate for Holy Conviction. Skeletica for the Reflect, also the damage bonus. Uh, Rockno, he self-heals. Perfect for Holy Conviction. 
Walla heals the team and heals himself. I've got Walla at skill 13, so he heals the full six-person team. Holy Conviction was the first, Walla was the first person to receive a Holy Conviction. I thought immediately, okay, Walla, Walla. Uh, stop the enemy from healing when I do Guild Wars attacks. Uh, extra damage. Sass, Sass heals himself. Now does a better job with Holy Conviction. Warlock stopped him from healing. He's a base defender for me. A little bit of extra damage and reflect. Same thing. I use Serena again in Guild Wars. I don't try to revive anybody. I'm using her for the buff, just like uh, Triantar's damage reduction for the team. Malay stops them from uh, from healing. Uh, silencing Shot's the only one I... Uh, Storm Eater's the only one I have Silencing Shot on because it's so important to get him to proc right away. Uh, get first strike, especially in a lost battlefield scenario. Uh, a little damage, damage, uh, reflect. Nah. It's Professor Ribbit, somebody I've always parked in the garage and really don't use. Uh, lava. Lava? I, you know, I debate it. Uh, there's a number of enchantments that are great on Lava. Not Victory Lunge. He's not going to be... He's got damage cap. He's not going to be reflecting anything that's worthwhile. Uh, but I had an energy sap on him. Worked great. Uh, malaise is another thing. It's wonderful. Uh, but now with the Holy Conviction, he, he lasts a lot longer. Get that nice damage reduction. Gives himself a great heal. Uh, Mahatma, she got a damage cap, so I have the energy sap. Rowdy, uh, he reflects damage. Uh, it does so better than uh, Victory Lunge. Thereby, you'd be wasting Victory Lunge. It's not stacking the, the Reflect in this game. So you've got to do something else. So uh, energy set. Uh, extra damage. Extra damage and Reflect. Great on Laz. Give Laz the ability to Reflect damage. He doesn't have a damage cap. So somebody hits him for 500,000 damage. He's going to be sending back uh, about 75,000 uh, damage against them. Plant Warrior. Plant Warrior heals himself and members of the team. Perfect. Rosa, self healer. She was like number three. Like, you know, after Spirit Mage. Like, ah, well, it may be also Rosa. Uh, wonderful. Even with her built in damage reduction, it will multiply on that multiplicity scale. It will affect her uh, damage reduction. It helps her a big deal with the, with the healing as well. Uh, Archdemon. Damage and damage reflect. She got a big damage cap. Victory lunge is useless, basically. I'll give her nearly the same amount of attack, but also when somebody's right up on her, uh, ability to reduce their attack, their attack uh, prowess in battle by uh, 5% with a cooldown of one second. Energy sap in this game, little uh, factoid, energy sap in this game does stack. If you have six heroes all with energy sap beating on the same bad guy, it'll be this time six. It'll be six v levels of this energy sap happening. And you can reduce the person's uh, attack ability so much that they're barely going to affect you. It's uh, very helpful in a warden challenge. One particular warden, we use that uh, technique. Uh, Ashura, he's got a deflect. It's not going to stack or add to the victory lunge. Thereby, I put the uh, energy sap. Uh, Ripper for some extra damage and reflex. Mike. He reflects damage. So it, it would cancel out the reflect ability of Victory Lunge Energy Sap Olympic. Same thing with Kamo. Her, her deflect, I believe it is, uh, would cancel out the other one. And, and lastly, the new hero, uh, Valen. Um, Valen is um, a damage healer, so I gave him a, a damage healing uh, enchantment. So uh, I hope that this look at... Uh, Holy Conviction is, uh, is helpful. I see uh, there's no right or wrong, but when it comes to taking our heroes down a certain path, I sometimes question the choices. Uh, I'm seeing Holy Conviction, which raises healing ability. I'm seeing this on every hero under the sun. If you put Holy Conviction on Valen, all it's gonna do is give him a damage reduction. He doesn't heal. So you're better suited to give him a, a different enchantment, something that will benefit him, like a victory lunge. Now, you make the argument, I've got a healing pet. I, got a, I, I, I put a survival insignia on him. Well, he will then get, uh, with Holy Conviction, he will get a 200% self-heal based on that pet. 
or that uh, survival insignia. But I don't want to be going through this game for the next, you know, however many years telling myself, oh, wait a minute. Valen's got holy conviction. Pause here. I, I, I've got to give him some kind of healing ability. I've got to remember to put a healing pet on him. No, he's not designed for that, okay? Don't try to make your heroes into what they're not uh, designed to do. Uh, going with just the self-healers and healers in this game, I might have had 15 or more heroes that got holy conviction. So a wonderful enchantment, but not designed for damage dealers or any of these guys. It's not what they're made to do, okay? Uh, so if it's helpful to you and you're always going to be remember to have uh, uh, Fennec Pet on Dovekeeper, well then, more power to you, okay? That's great. But I don't want to have to be remembering specific builds uh, for niche options in this game. It's not what Dove is designed to do. So in, uh, in general, I would say on the right heroes, it's an A-plus enchantment. A brilliant enchantment. I'm thrilled with it. Uh, they've been putting out some lame talents. Uh, it's been a long time since we've had a good enchantment. So, you know, happy to do that. Now, I put it on Sass. I just wanted to show you. I mean, I, I as an illustration in how the game is different for everybody, I've had one player after the next. Uh, say to me, oh, you've got to do this with sass. You've got to, you've got a skill 13 sass. He's going to get an extra second of stun. Uh, or you got to you got to put the uh, holy conviction on sass because he'll become unkillable, especially ever if you have a regen on him or a regen insignia. He's going to get, you know, quadruple heals and all of this. That's true on paper. But we all play a different game. Every time I press the battle button and I go out on a raid, I'm taking on million might opponents. Every time I, I, I do a Guild Wars, I'm taking on million might opponents. Uh, the moment I put Sass in the battle, he turns to dust. Okay? He, he's an old hero. He's, for me, in the brackets in which I fight, he serves zero purpose. So um, I, I won't be doing uh, skill 13 on him anytime soon. Or uh, I've got him with a, a Sacred Light. I, I use him often in a Warden challenge. That's the only time I use, use him against a Warden. So the Wicked Armor is there. We'll go with the Sacred Light. I've got Fennec Pet to help him heal. I've got a Regen to give him a 100% healing bonus. And a holy conviction to give him even more damage reduction and another 100%. And I got an attack sass because I want him to do a heck of a lot of damage because I was, I'm using him in Warden only. Uh, he's doing 50, almost 54 mil, uh, 54, a thousand uh, damage. And he's well over 1.3. Uh, million health. Okay, uh, uh, random raids. Random raids with just sass. I just want to just check this out. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to drop sass out on the board. Watch. He's half dead. Now he's all the way dead. Okay. He lasted twice as long as he usually lasts. Because those were, and I, I'm going to use the, this word cautiously, only. They were only breakthrough 25 heroes. Okay, uh, so Sass last, lasted four seconds instead of the usual two. Uh, let's see here. See how Sass does? He's getting auto procced on. These are only breakthrough 20. Okay, so he lasted 14 seconds because they were only, you know, air quotes. <laughs> like, like breakthrough 20 is low. No, no, no. But uh, I want to try to find a breakthrough uh, 30 team. Oh, here, okay, here's Lore. One of the great players in Castle Clash, uh, a wonderful uh, 
uh, Castle Clasher. He's got uh, a full spread of breakthrough, a wonderful base design. He's got a full spread of breakthrough 30 heroes. Let's see how Sass does against this team. He's going to last three seconds. Got a big heal. He saved himself at that last second. Okay, he's dead. Okay. So the story of Sass is a tale that is told by the individual. If I was at a, a different progression in this game, Sass would be one of my go-tos. But at the point where I am, where I'm, I'm taking on million mine opponents, Sass is just simply a punching bag. Uh, he gets a few seconds of life, and then he's turned to dust and smoke. Even if you give him a 300% healing bonus, uh, and if he got an extra second of stun, instead of dying in four seconds, he would die in five. So, uh, Sass for me isn't uh, somebody that I'll be investing in. He's a several years old uh, hero, and is not somebody that I would uh, you know, put that uh, skill 13 in, into. Uh, before I sign off, speaking of skill 13, uh, did a couple of, did a couple of my heroes. Um, oh, my most recent skill 13, uh, I, maybe I'll make an independent video on it. I did PD. Now, PD, just like basically every other hero uh, at skill 13, uh, gets a pretty insubstantial boost. I think he went from 60, 61% of his, uh, the Celebrate ability, 61% boost to the team, up to 64, if I'm not, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, now, what's the difference? Difference is this. Every couple of days, as a test of strengths of my heroes to see if they're developing the way I want them to develop, I go in and I run boss. I've been running boss boss uh, five since the introduced boss five. I've been running boss three since the early days. It's something I, I do every every few days to test out my heroes. I remember the first time I attacked, I got like a I got like ninety thousand total damage. Okay, and then I remember a couple of years back, I hit the two hundred million mark in one three minute attack. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm moving in the right direction. Uh, I got to the 400 million in a three minute attack against boss five. Uh, I used PD last night against boss five. And uh, I took a, I, I believe I recorded it. Uh, I, I even took a screenshot for my Mementos album, my archive of uh, CC. And I ended up getting something like 890 million damage against boss five. Uh, my prior best was 863. So I, I added another 27 million onto uh, the damage that I did by getting those extra couple of um, celebrate bonus, uh, bonus percentage points. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, PD is somebody I only use against bosses, goblins in the labyrinth, archdemon, there's no other. Oh, uh, he's my main man for totems. Okay, he's the best guy I think to put in a totem. Uh, he'll give your entire team a global boost. Very few heroes do that. Uh, I hope this was helpful. I'll check you out on the next video. Uh, I look forward to doing a couple of things that I have written down uh, as terms of ideas. And one of them is a, uh, it's got a couple of requests to go through the altar. Uh, I've never really done that. Uh, I look at independent heroes or different situations. Be thrilled to do, uh, you know, like a, I'll do a four minute Paladin video. What's Paladin like at Breakthrough 30 when you've got them all tweaked out? Uh, Paladin can take out a six person team in Arena all by himself. Okay, that's what Paladin's like. So there's a lot of different ways to look at it. Uh, I look forward to doing those uh, videos uh, pretty soon. I hope you're all enjoying your clashing. I'll check you on the next one. All right, bye-bye.